gorgeous. I bet they're expensive. Why is all the cute stuff expensive though? Ping. Drop frames detected. 10% over the last two minutes. I don't know what that means. Wow, that's really bright. How do I turn that down? Is it <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, my dudes? Hi! Welcome, my dudes. I got an ad on Instagram just so I was waiting for it to load to live about some gorgeous new rock boots and I'm just looking at them but they're like 200 quid <laughs> and I'm not spending 200 pounds on a pair of boots so I don't know if anyone knows about AI dungeon or anything like that but this right here hi fluffy is AI dungeon I'm just adjusting my ring light because at the minute where the comments are it's blocking them but now it's fine I'm good I'm good. I don't know how long I will be streaming for because I also want to play Overwatch, but I play Overwatch on my PS4 and I don't like working with Twitch. So we're gonna we're gonna use the hubby's computer. Well, the family's computer. And we're gonna play some AI dungeon. Um, there used to be a game, a really simple game, where you'd type out what you were gonna do and it would do the next thing for you. But this is an AI version. So uh, I've already had a go um previously because it's random every time and it it's a trip it's it's a trip so we're gonna we're gonna have a play let's see if we can get it to work might have to refresh the page it's been sat here for a while wait rose you follow me on tiktok hi most people that are here i believe follow me on tiktok or instagram rose you can play it and stream it on youtube i do it all the time yeah but it's not I don't like playing it on the place. There's no camera thing, and I just I don't like being watched while I do. I feel I feel like I'm crap at Overwatch while I'm being watched. That or I go to two extremes, and I concentrate so hard and get really good, but I'm silent, so it'd be really boring to watch. Right, pick a setting. Fantasy recommended. What should we do, guys? What setting do we go with? Fantasy, mystery, apocalyptic, I can get that word out. Zombies, cyberpunk, ignore custom and archives. Let's go one through five. Which one do we go with, guys? I'm leaving it on the comment section. It's all on you. There's a lot of options. Oh boy. Hook's chicken nuggets are the best chicken nuggets. I mean, let's be real. Cyberpunk. Okay, we've got a vote for cyberpunk. A vote for fantasy. <laughs> we've had two votes for cyberpunk by the time I'm reading this. Two is fantasy. Oh, that is a lot for fantasy. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Bunny Deku. Um, I'm gonna go with fantasy because it will start with number one. We'll do like one in each, depending on how long I'm here. So let's. Did I do it right? I think I'm setting one. Yes, I have. Right. Okay. Select a character. Well, last time I did this, I've only done it once. I picked a rogue. This time, I think I will pick a peasant. I saw Tom Scott did a peasant one, and that was quite funny. I'm going to try and do a peasant one, because everyone always picks something interesting. And it's always more fun to pick one that isn't. Enter your character's name. Kago. Kagon? Kago. I love your cosplays. Thank you. My favorite kind of bees are 100% dabbies. <laughs> right, we're gonna call a character Kago and I'm gonna just go for it for fun. You are Kago, a peasant living in a small village in the kingdom of Larion. You have a pitchfork and nothing else. You dream of getting out of your village and have an adventure. You go to your fields to begin working. You look up and see a battle in the sky between some knight and some dragons. Your friend Simon comes over to you both and you both watch in amazement. Hey Kago, want to go on an adventure? Um, do you say why? <laughs> why bother? We have a great job because it's a good idea, man. Simon says, 
bruh. That shit will get us killed. I only got a pitchfork and nothing else. It won't be that bad, Simon says. Where are we going? Dunno, anywhere that's far though. Nah, man, I'm not going. You go without me. <laughs> it's such a mood. Um, let's say, what should we go? Let's have the story. The dragon swoops down and eats Simon. <laughs> the dragon swoops down and eats Simon in one bite. You stand there frozen in fear as your friend's body disappears, only to be replaced by a pile of ash. You are then struck by a lightning bolt and crushed under a dragon's claw. Well, that escalated quickly. I kind of deserve that for what I did to Simon. I'm going to try and reason with the dragon. Dragon. Your eyes sparkle like sapphires I can't spell sapphires like the moon <laughs> um, you are beautiful there we go <laughs> and death took you f oh that was quick I died <laughs> I died. Um, right, that was that was quick. I guess I guess I killed him. I can't name him Kago. I'm just gonna get too sad when he dies. <laughs> that wasn't very cash money of you, dragon. You're right. <laughs> Everyone misses Simon. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. Story. Simon. rises from the ashes like a phoenix who's the phoenix and kills the dragon is that possible Simon rises from the ashes like a phoenix and kills the dragon. He then takes the sword and kills the remaining knights. He holds the prin- Where did the princess come from? He holds the princess in his arms and he rides off into the sunset, leaving the kingdom in peace. A hero has been born. <laughs> Little did we know, Simon was the hero all along. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm really happy for Simon. He kind of- <laughs> He's- he kind of deserves this like I'm really happy for him I'm gonna leave him I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess that story up anymore I've I've left him happy he's got his princess he's living he's living a chill life right the sec we'll go with second one now mystery uh ooh, patient detective or spy what do you think guys which one do I pick this time? I know there's a slight delay on the comments, so I'm just gonna drum roll until we get there. He flipping Rose off from the ten <laughs> He is, he's like, fuck you, I win. Hello, Potato Sprinkle, I'm good. We are deciding whether I want to play a patient, a detective, or a spy next. Something in my British accent is, spy was the first one. We'll go with Spy, because it was the first one that came up. <clears throat> I think I've laughed too much. I feel, I feel my asthma setting off. I got too excited. <laughs> Enter your character's name. First comment to come up with a name gets to name the next character. That's what we're going with now. At the minute, the way it is as I'm talking, they all say spy. E isn't a name. I'm not going to call the character E. <laughs> I mean, it might be a name. Look at L. Don't die on us, Rose. I might. But it'll be on camera, so at least it's content. <laughs> Todoroki. Oh, God. Todoroki. Okay. 
I probably spelled that wrong because I, I tapped enter before I actually double checked it was spelled right. Sherlock Holmes was a detective. He wasn't a. Uh... What you get? You are a Todoroki. Oh, I did spell it right. You are a Todoroki, a spy living in Chicago. You have a concealed pistol and a syringe of poison. Remember that, guys. That will be important, I guess. You listen to the Russian diplomats and hear them discussing a potential uprising in one of the towns within the American borders. Okay. Right, okay. So we're listening to the Russian diplomats. I'm guessing from a secret location. Let's text our boss. <laughs> you text your boss. You send a... You text a message to your boss. Take the baby and run, followed by what you got. Note that Todoroki will mainly be entering the room unarmed. What? That, that makes no <laughs> sense. I'm just going to ignore that. We're just going to undo that. That never happened. Okay. Right. Right, I'm listening to Russian diplomats. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can sneak closer. Because I don't even know where I am or what's going on right now. You creep closer to the house, pistol in hand. You reach the corner of the street at the same time as they do and they turn to face you. I'm gonna ask them for directions. Which way? is or just hi i'm lost please say hi i'm dad please say hi i'm dad <laughs> oh okay you greet them with a friendly tone and the reply is one of surprise they don't seem to be the violent type so you cautiously continue walking oh if you want to find the game it's literally up here this is literally the game it's free to play online you can just type that in and go for it it's it's good fun you greet them with a friendly tone the replies want to surprise they don't seem to be violent type so you cautiously continue walking um i'm gonna slip one of them you're right quit the thing what thing that window what this window oh thank you but i was also sure was it annoying you yes Yes, it was. Just let them see what website it is so I don't get questions. It's not the AI Google it. But it was annoying because you got the white bar on there and it just looks so much better than that. Alright, picky. Slip one of them my number. The cute one. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Slip one of them my number, the cute one you think to yourself. You work up you walk up to the first man and reach out to him. He grabs your hands and shakes it. As you do, you pull out your pistol and shoot him in the head! That isn't what I wanted to do it. Todoroki, why are you like this? <laughs> Todoroki <sighs> Is this what you get when you let Endeavor raise you? Oh god, the other people are gonna be attacking me now. Um 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 and Shoot the next guy. Where's the do? Shoot the other guys. Oh, shoot the others. Leave one alive. These escalate so quickly. <laughs> you turn to the other two men who back away in fear. Who's the leader of this town, you ask? I am, sir, the man replies, bowing his head. Um, What tea can you spill? Spill that tea, sir. I am Russian, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. Then... No, I can't ask him why he's speaking English. People are bilingual. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. The Russian diplomats. Tell me your... Secrets. This is so not like Todoroki at all. Take his wife and kick him out of town. <laughs> Brett! <laughs> I know that's you. <laughs> My husband's in the comments. Tell me your secrets. What do you mean, sir? Tell us how the revolution began. 
The man looks confused by the questions. You know what? He's taking too long. I'm going to shoot him in the foot. Shoot him in the foot. Oh, this bit. Shoot. Wow, that's great. Great English. In the foot and demand he tells you where your father is. <laughs> You shoot the man in the foot, he screams out in pain. The other two men back away in fear again. Do you want to know how the revolution began, sir? Say. Did I, did I fucking stutter? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, your highness. Oh. Oh, he said it replies sarcastically. Oh, I'm going to shoot him again. He tells you the revolution began when the peasants rose up against their oppressive Christ aristocratic masters. Okay, I know I'm a spy, but what am I meant to be finding out exactly? I know it's multiplayer, dear. Um, he tells the revolution began when the peasants rose up against their... Um, how can I? No, I'm a really shit spy. I'm just gonna kill this dude. We want it to change to do. Shoot him in the face for the disrespect. Disrespect. Turn to the other guy and ask him where my father is. Since they've not told me anything about what's happening, I'm gonna f all out be like Todoroki is on a hunt for his father. So we're gonna shoot him in the face. The peasants are poor. We have no money. We farm land giving most of, that's not shooting him in the face, is it? We farm the land giving most of our crops to the court. He keeps us in line with a hefty tax. Okay, okay, so he needs us so uh, wait are these guys just peasants i feel bad for shooting him in the foot now um where can i find him you watch guys this will be simon i bet it's simon dear heavens this is very violent i mean i kind of feel like that's my fault <laughs> the count he's in Dornov, a town on the borders of the kingdom you say, I bet. <laughs> There's a small army there, sir. I would, happy, I would be happy to dispatch them for you if you wish. You smile, I do. Bet. <laughs> be like Toto in the USJ against the other place. <laughs> Eat the rich. I'm going to say that, actually. I'm like, um, hang on. What is your, this thing, the brain, you need to adjust this. Every time I go down here, this bit pops up and I don't like it. What's your name? Please don't be Simon. Oh yeah, I'm not going to remember that. Wait, it's a girl? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And we're, they, I swear they said it was a man, right? They said it was a man. You walk up to the first man. I'm sorry for assuming your gender. Um, I'm Ludmilia, sir. And where is the army stationed, may I ask? Dawn, sir. Okay. All right. You kill those guys for me and I'll take care of the count. Oh, that's right, Brett. I need to check how old she is because Tom Scar was playing this, right? And literally his wife was like, he asked how old his wife was and his wife was like 12 and he's like, <laughs> You give Ludmilla a few details and make a mental note of what she tells you. You head inside to tell your mum that you'll be home late. 
<laughs> I'm such a good spy. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Please put the kettle down. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> Todoroki. I feel like I'm used to these types of games now and just taking every detail. Um, your mum looks worried at you as you walk inside. Oh, honey, can I talk to you a moment? She said, keeping her eyes on the road. Oh, she wants to talk to me. Um, okay. What is wrong, mother? Is it father again? <laughs> Your mother sighs loudly and then turns to look at you. <sighs> no, it's father's business, it's not the fam- It's father's business, not the family's. Tell me. She tells you to turn on the news and that you'll find out in a few minutes. Can't, oh, I'll just turn on the news. I was gonna be like, just tell me. Turn on the TV. There is a lot of, a lot of drama here. A breaking news flash appears on the screen. The caption, strategic interests. You see a photo of Ben Rooney, the traveling rep from Rostov. Keep watching. The news reporter talks about assassinating Ben Rooney during his trip to Dawn. You then realize what you did only a few minutes later when the news is already covering the assassination. Oh God. I, what did I do? Did I kill Ben Rooney? Oh shit! Wait, you realise what you did only a few minutes later when the news is already... Uh, I'm right, I'm gonna... I don't know who Ben Rooney is, so I'm gonna say to mum... I don't get it. Can't... We... Just... Stick... Spongebob on. Your mother looks at you, then turns on the news. Oh God, congratulations, you killed an MOC. You drop out of your seat and feel sick. Who <laughs> or what is an MOC? I feel like I'm missing something. The AI doesn't know. You define MOC. MOC stands for More Overlord Combat. Well, there goes that plan then. What? What are you on about, dear? Your mother asks. Um, nothing. I'm so confused by this, right? You put on SpongeBob and sit in bed. Mm, more I'm Overlord confused. Combat, you mumble. I don't understand. Listen, just forget it, all right? Huh? Confused by all right, I'm, I'm very, very lost. Um, let's do something more outlandish. Yeah, I'm just going do. To put in. Find a wife. You spend most of your time trying to find a wife and you eventually find one. The marriage isn't happy at all, but you stay together for your own benefit. A few years later. That's not what I wanted at all. Realise. I'm actually gay, so divorce my wife. That's why he wasn't happy. That's all it was. You realize you're actually gay, so divorce your wife. You then marry a man. Where has the man come from? Ooh. I know, I know that. Can I please say that you're looking fabulous and still amazing? Thank you, considering the bad lighting, I'll take that. Um, that was very quick. It escalated very quickly. No, it's it's more the fact that this ring light's smaller than my old one, so I think I might, even though I've got this one, I might have to get another one, like a bigger one that'll fit my camera in properly. Um, you realize you're actually gay, you then marry a man. <sighs> Hi, honey. I'm home. Hey, your name! <laughs> <laughs> this game literally has my name registered, but because it's an AI and it absorbs what other people say, it's saying 
Y slash N, like, hey, your name, how was school? Your husband replies, why was I at school? <laughs> I'm a spy. And I'm, oh my God, did I go back you to college? Spy. Who's Brad? Is Brad my husband? Who is Brad? It was fine. Now let's have some, you say, trailing off. Um, is something wrong? Who is Brad? Your husband is taken aback for a moment before smiling. Oh, Brad's my best friend. Don't worry, you'll get to meet him one day. But he's right there. Brad was asking me what's wrong. <laughs> Brad. Are you leaving me for Brad? Oh, Brad is such a chad. We're secretly Kim Possible. What? No, why would you ask something like that? I don't know, it's just, it's nothing your name. Come on, let's have some fun. <gasps> oh my God, husband. I don't, I don't even I'm know Brad, yeah. your name. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that. But not while Brad is watching. You're married and you have a nice marriage, but you can't help but feel like something is wrong. You don't know what it is. You just know something isn't right. Year five? Are you still in school? <laughs> Am I st is year, f year five? How old are you in year five? Year five's no, like year really five, young. Year five years into the marriage, I imagine. Oh, year five, five years into the marriage? Jesus Christ. Um, I was a spy. Yeah, I, I was apparently a spy, but I'm not anymore. After something to do you with... Retired. Yeah, I retired to go back to school, apparently, and marry a guy that's in love with Brad. Um, say, I just realized... I just realized. In these five years that I have been married to you, I never learned your name. <laughs> I hope he tells me his name. I want to know what my husband's name is. <laughs> your husband looks at you and laughs. Oh, you're finally taking notice your name. Call me Todoroki. <laughs> Call me daddy. <laughs> Call me daddy. All right. Call me daddy. Your husband immediately gets quiet and runs out the room. You hear the sound of something breaking and then a thud. You wait a moment before going to investigate the noise. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Um, I'm gonna... What happened? Is every... Is everything okay? <laughs> Oh no. You stare at the room in shock. All the furniture is thrown around and there's a large hole in your ceiling. You call out to your husband and there's no answer. You begin to worry. Oh shit. Your husband in the hole. Yeah, he's in the hole. <laughs> oh shit, you start to look around the room more and that's when you notice something shiny sitting by your feet. It's a revolver. You pick it up and look at it closely. Why would you pick it up? There could be fingerprints. I'm a really bad spy. Um, do check how many bullets are in the gun. The gun has two bullets in it. Good enough. You point the gun at the hole in the ceiling and <laughs> promise yourself you remember this. I Fuck you, hole. <laughs> you pull the trigger of the gun and the bullet very nearly goes through the hole in the ceiling you don't miss but you hit your husband in the back he turns off doing in a 
hole in the ceiling. I can't even spell ceiling. It's a glory hole. It's a glory hole. <laughs> Your husband is a state of shock. He stares at you blanky. What do you want? Your name. I thought you'd be in school right now. Are you okay? You saw me come home. I asked you to call me daddy. Then you fucked off. That's where he was keeping brats, someone says. <laughs> if he's allowed, I shot him in the back, but he's Rose, still alive. You're a school child, there's a road. Can you ZK yourself? <gasps> I wonder. You saw me come home. Your husband is silent for a moment before sighing and nodding. Yes, I saw you come home. You asked me to call you daddy, so I did. That's right. It's like, no, he didn't, you liar. Liar. Your husband shakes his head. No, it's true. You did say it. You stare at him for a moment before raising the gun. Oh, I'm going to be like, you're not really my husband. Are you dot 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 Brad? It was Brad all along. Your face becomes controlled a mask of rage. You're not really my husband, are you, Brad? You repeat before him with a gun. Your husband said, story. Your husband rips off his face to reveal he was Brad all along. I was waiting for you to catch up so we could be together. I love you. You love me. <laughs> it's not him. But Brad. <laughs> I was married to... What was my husband's name? Your, is Brad just the Netflix adaptation of Bakugo? Because they whitewashed it. <laughs> Would it be more Kirishima? No, it'd be Eden. beef back ago. Eden looks like a no, I'm not on like that. I'm saying it's the first letter. Scooby Doo shapeshifting. He was. A I was married to your best friend. But Brad, damn it, Janet. So your husband liked Brad, but he Brad liked me. What a love triangle. Brad was only friends with your husband to get close to you. These comments, man. It doesn't matter. You're my wife now and I need you. Need me for what? Oh. <laughs> well, Cletus. How do you spell Cletus? <laughs> Can't. How do you spell Cletus, Brett? I don't know. Google it. You Google it. Right, I will. I'm going to Google it. Okay, Google. Cletus. Please <laughs> do not know. Coitus is a word for sex. Coit. I don't want a definition. Thank you. Coit. I forgot to look how to spell it. <laughs> I had it right the first time. Coitus. I thought he was gay. I thought I was a man. Apparently I misgendered myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not YouTube safe. Yes, your name. I need to have my member inside. <laughs> You need to have your inside me. Yes. What um what exactly does that involve? Well, at least I have the conversation I need to check something. I need to check something. How old are you? How old are you, Brad? Twenty one. Oh, he's legal. That's fine. I'm 21, your name. Don't you want to know how I came to be? I mean, yes, but um, how did you get that hole in the ceiling? Thank you. These are the questions. <laughs> this is the mystery. Um, please. Oh yeah, how old am I? How old am I? What? I'm 21. How did you get that hole in the ceiling? I was born like that. Oh, no, I'm going to go back. That's that's bullshit. Right, we're going to go back to that. We're going to go. How old are you, Brad? Uh, yeah, how did the hole in the ceiling happen? How did 
the hole in the ceiling happen. I mean, I didn't click sci-fi, but aliens would be a very rational explanation. We were in a shooting match. I was using my shotgun and hit the wrong button. How many buttons are on at your shotgun? At least he doesn't want to fuck me anymore. He wants to fuck you with the shotgun. Just one. Don't you know... Don't you want to know how I got this way? You sh shrug and nod slowly. Please tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why. I was born this way. I want you to be honest. Laura, do you find me attractive? Um. You know your name? No, I, 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 I read your name as. <laughs> to, um, do you find me attractive? Um. No. I'm going to be honest with you, Brad. Well, I would if you were in your first <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, Brad. Um, you're actually just text, so I got no clue. Oh, I can't type like this. Clue what you look like. Is Brad a yandere? I think so. Your husband and Brad dueled for your love and your husband lost. Oh no. Are you sure? I thought you were my wife. No! I was... You didn't have a name. Husband's... Wife. Not yours. Husband was the name of my husband. Well, that's good to hear. I need a certain reaction from people before I... Before... <laughs> Would you let me stay with you tonight? Um, sure. Uh, Brad! Brad, I'm not ready. You're saying, um, I'm just going to go for a breath of fresh air. Then I will be back for the stuff. You walk out the kitchen door and into the backyard. You collapse on the glass and start laughing. He's just so stupid, you think, as you watch a squirrel run through the yard. I still have one shot in my gun, right? Um, I also still have a... If, if I've kept it for, like, however many years I was married to those two different people, I apparently still have a syringe of poison. Um, pet the squirrel. Pet the... Fucking squirrel. You pick up the small squirrel and start picking, petting it. Oh god, I'm a monster, you think to yourself. You hear a loud noise. And huh? I don't know. You hear a loud noise and drop the squirrel, grabbing your shotgun. Um, Why do you have a shotgun now? Apparently I have a shotgun and as a well revolver. as the pistol. And a revolver, yeah. Was this Brad's shotgun? Let's go... Um, rush back inside. You rush back inside and shut the door before your husband can get inside. You see your husband dying on the floor, blood leaking from his head. Please hurry up so I know what to do. Shoot Brad in the head. In the dick. In the dick. <laughs> You fire the shotgun at Brad's head and you missed. Shit, you say. You run to the kitchen and grab a knife and attempt to stab him to death, but fail. Inject him with the poison. I can't mess that up, surely. You grab the bottle of poison and needle and quickly inject it into his neck. So you could... You had time to inject... To prep a needle. Oh, yes. And inject him with it. Not to stab him. Yeah, I didn't have enough time to stab him. His body twitches for a few seconds, then he goes still. He says before gurgling and dying. Dying. Thank fuck for that. You say. You sigh in relief and sit down. I'm too tired to do anything now. You think, but now that your husband is dead, what are you going to do with your life? Hmm. 
I know, right? How do you fail to stab well, someone? Well, the house will walk away. You get hit by a bus and get a Z-Kide? Or a truck? Sure. Truck, okay. Um, let's let's see if we can Azikai ourselves. Um, walk out to the street and get hit by an oncoming truck. And get transported to a new world. And get transported to a new world. Ah, oh, Azikai Adames. You walk out into the street and get hit by an oncoming truck and transported to a new world where you're a mighty hero. You decide to lay down and fall asleep because you're too tired to do anything else. <laughs> that, that's on brand for you. <laughs> yeah, both my husbands are dying. I mean, this is on brand for me. Like, just I woke up in a new world. Oh, I've just died. <laughs> no, I was finally going to get to sleep. Oh, how successfully has he you? We've successfully has he kied me. Um, let's wake up many hours later let's give myself some sort of plot to go off wake up many hours later um you are surrounded by worried classmates asking how you are let's see if we can turn this into my hero academia you started by worried classmates asking how you are you don't really know anymore oh fine you say you stumble out of bed and stumble to the bathroom are all the classmates in my bedroom? You come back 10 minutes later and collapse back in the bed. Um, your father bursts in, oh, I'll just put my father, can be like. Father bursts into the room with his fire and yells at you to train. Your father bursts into a room with fire and yells at you to train and not to fall asleep at the wheel! I'm, I'm behind a wheel. Um, story. Go to... Let's just... Let's just... Okay, alright. Go to UA school and meet up with Deku, whom I have a crush on. Let's see what you do with that AI. You go to the Unexpected Adventures School, <laughs> where you put in a room Un called... Unexpected Adventures? Unexpected Adventures. UA. Yeah. I typed in UA School, um, where you are put in a room with a boy called Deku. He is your age, but is much smaller than you and very skinny. I mean, that checks out. That checks out. Like, um, I mean, w we originally named this character Todoroki, so that makes... That's where we're at right now. Um, he's much smaller than you, very skinny. Um, this is going to be very out of character, but I feel the need to say it. Do you even lift, bro? Bro or bruh? I said bro. I should have said bruh. I don't lift, but I sure can punch, he says, showing you his hand. Right. <laughs> Changes to the story. Please. It's broken. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> his your entire arm is, is broken and purple with bruises <laughs> you were greatly surprised what the heck happened you asked he sits down beside you looking very tired Deku doesn't say anything for a few minutes he then looks at you oh is it happening kiss kiss you lean in to kiss him but he turns away and covers his face what the hell Deku you say he looks at you and runs out of the room Ah, oh, it was too soon. It was too soon, man. I was only going to kiss it better. Chase after him. In slow motion to the falling of cherry. <laughs> it's like a bad fan fiction. Blossoms and the sounds of an anime ending playing. It's also sunset. What's going on? You ask. You chase after him, but you are moving at normal speed now. <laughs> um, oh, let's make this spicy. Deku stops running and turns 
to face you. Why are you running? <laughs> Deku, why are you running? Deku stops running and turns to face you. Let's see what see if it generates anything for that. I think I know who I like, he says. You nod slowly and the two of you begin walking to class, talking all the way until class ends. You both go to separate classes. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Um, while in class, you meet a spiky, blonde haired, angry dude. And he, hmm, what can he, what can Baka go do? And he punches, no, I can't, I don't think it knows what a Kabudon is, so, um, he grabs, he grabs you. <laughs> Let's see what it, it does with that. He slams his hand He slams a hand on the wall behind you. Um, while in class, you make a spiky head angry dude he grabs you by your throat and tells you that if you don't give him five gold coins by yesterday he'll kill you you look at deku and notice he looks nervous this is the anime right this is just my hair academia what i've nailed it <laughs> um so why do you want my gold you poor bastard I love how Rose calls for her husband when she needs help. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, nothing, he says. Then back the hell off, you angry Pomeranian. What? How do you spell Pomeranian? That's not it. Hey, what the hell? Why the hell do you know how to talk? You don't even look like you can talk. I mean, that's a pretty canon for Todoroki as well. I have my talents. I don't trust him. He seems weird. Can you let go of my throat now? Or at least do a better job of choking me? This really is like some sort of really weird fan fiction. Fine, here. He throws gold coins at your feet, but you're moving too fast to catch them. They roll into your feet and you put them in. He's giving me money now? Oh, Sundere. Confess your love. <laughs> Was Deku right there? Yes. Well, Deku rejected me because I think he likes Bakugo. So I'm going to confess my love to back ago you lean in to kiss him but he backs the way what the hell do you think you're doing i'm confessing my love for you i mean i could imagine that being like todoroki and back ago right there um say i what could i do confessing my love for you Deku rejected me and you're down for choking, so. DTC. He's down to fuck and <laughs> down to choke. He smirks and his ears flip backwards. That's even weirder than when you didn't act scared when I was strangling you. You're a pretty weird guy when you know that. Um, that's due to all the child abuse hmm. oh is that right well i was also the victim of child abuse so i'm well experienced in weird i mean, I mean his, mom? his mom does beat him you really haven't talked to deku in a while and wonder how he's doing deku oh, fancy a three-way <laughs> i'm not gonna tell him to fuck off <clears throat> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi Sophie. He stares at <laughs> What are you serious? Very serious. He stares at you for a second. Do you want me to ask All Might for his permission? It says do you want me to ask All Might for his <gasps> People have actually role played fucking My Hero Academia sex stuff on This is not okay. Yeah, if you put enough information in there, it's going to be able to look Oh my 
god. Do you want me to ask all my for his permission? I don't want one with all my. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> That's all my his permission. Um, no, just you, me, and back a go. No, no, all might, please. <laughs> Why don't you ask back a go then? He hasn't returned my messages since the last test. I don't even know if he's interested anymore. He's right there. He's right here. Ask him now. Oh, is he? Or is he? he might have turned and walked away. He is very aloof. Are you sure about this? I mean, really sure. As sure as I am about my love for you. The blonde boy takes a deep breath and closes his eyes and asks all oh my... <laughs> I hope he's not asking all my to join in. And he's just like, is it okay if I ruin my innocence? Will all the past predecessors of all, f of all for one? One for all. <coughs> of one for all watch um right this story story all might appears yelling i am here and proceeds to give them an education lesson of a sexual education sex education lesson like on safe sex that kind of thing what's that called I don't want to. I don't want it to get sexual because it will misread it, and I don't want all my having sex with minors. Um, then I'm just gonna all have all my appear and see what it it does because I don't want. He quickly notices you and Deku. What are you two doing? Talking about my future while I am still here. All Might says annoyed. Will you help me, Deku? Asks. Deku, that's highly inappropriate. Thank you. That's illegal. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey Rose, how's the baby doing during quarantine? Do you ever get worried? Um, he's fine. He's gone for a nap now. Um, I think we were mainly worried about him missing out on socialization at nursery, but he's he's fine. He's just bored. Um, you say, Deku, that's illegal. All might, all might. I was finally able to ask her out and he interrupted us. I'll help you. <laughs> Why is, this is a very heteronormative thing. It literally forces you into being male and female. I'll help you, all might says. No, I'm gay. Bullcrap. I've seen the way you look at that boy over there. Now come with me while I ask her and make sure I do it right. You, Deco, and all might disappear. What? Um. Hi. <laughs> you say hi. Are you sure it's going to work? All might said. If he asks her out again, the consequences could be fatal. I think I'll be fine. Wait, so is Deco and all might trying to teach me how to ask out back ago? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Um. <laughs> nice weather we're having um <laughs> yes it is are you nervous a little but i don't care anymore can't you just do it for me i don't know where this story is going anymore Deku did apparently very well then. All Might grabs your hands and lifts them up to your faces. Now say how you really feel. I love you. Say it to my face. I love you. <laughs> you say it to his face and he grins. Yes, he smiles when I say my name. Katsuki. Say it with an A sound. Um, Katsuki. <laughs> yes, I'm cured. You did it. <laughs> you kiss him. Thank you, all might. He blushes. You're welcome, Deku. <laughs> Deku.
Deku asked All Might to help get Todoroki and Bakugo together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, you turn to him. How old <laughs> is Bakugo? I'm gonna, yeah, that's right. Because. I don't want it. You're bitching about something you can't hear what though. I don't know. He doesn't tell me anything. How old is Deku? Because they're going to be a similar age. All Might notices the time. I've, it's, it's, I, think, I think we're going to have to just leave this one here now. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone from a spy flick. Living in Chicago to being hit by a truck after Brad, after her husband ripped off his face and revealed he was Brad when there was a hole in the ceiling and then we apparently missed stabbing him. So uh, it's not an app, it's just called AI Dungeon. You can Google it and it's just a free website. It's, uh, it's great. <laughs> right, let's, let's have a new game. Right, we're on the three now. No. Why do you want to join in? I mean, after the laptop. No, it's, it's uploading stuff. You can't. Right, select a character. Courier. Survivor or soldier. Um, courier. I don't know what a courier is. Let's go with survivor. Enter your character's name. What character name, guys? First one to say gets it. Ideally, mm. ideally not another My Hero Academia character. Mm. Brad. <laughs> okay. Brad. I love the fact I say not a My Hero Academia character, but because there's a delay, like the main ones are Dabby and Kago, Hawks, Brad, Bruce, Brad. Yeah, we're naming him Brad. You are Brad, a survivor trying to survive in a post apocalyptic I can't say that. Apocalyptic. You are Brad, a survivor trying to survive in a post apocalyptic world by scavenging amongst the ruins of what is left. You have a backpack a ca and a canteen. You haven't eaten in two days, so we are desperately searching for food. You enter a rundown mm. building, and as you do well. so, you. S I can't actually place my phone when I'm doing that. Right, next time I'll do it. Um, you enter a rundown building and as you do so you see a small handwritten to let sign. Below is some blood and a trail of clothes. You follow it to a trap door in the floor. Hmm. Wait, did I fall through the trap door or have I just seen an open trap door? Inspect the trap door from a safe distance. You inspect the trapdoor from a safe distance. When you see the trapdoor, you notice a faint smell of smoke and hear the sound of distant sirens. You're reluctant to open the door, um, fearing whatever's on the other side may attack. So we literally only have a backpack and a canteen. Let's search my back pack. You pull out a piece of barbed wire torn from an old fence and a serrated knife with a broken blade. You also have some dried fruit and a small can of tuna in your bag. Um, open the can of tuna with your knife. That'd work, right? Oh, this, one, this one's a lot more serious. You can twist open a can open with the knife and use the tuna straight out of the can. You feel a little bit better, but it's not going to last long. You're still hungry. Right, um, is there a way to sneak around to a window and inspect the inside? I love tuna, man. I could eat tuna straight out of the can. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest in the room. A small storage room for the building. The floor is covered in dust and a few cobwebs built up along the ceiling. Oh, let's go inside then. Um, sneak in through a window. You spell through? I think that's right. 
you carefully open a window and climb through it you're glad to get your head out of that smoke um i kind of want to shut the window and not let the smoke in but i feel like make brad a cannibal i need to find someone first guys all right um let's explore the house for any other survivors You can pretty much do whatever you want in this game, that's the joy of it. You carefully step over the sill and into the dark house. You can see that the building is still intact though, it appears to be mostly empty. You make your way through it and check each room for the survivors. Right, okay, so... It seems to be okay. Is anyone <coughs> home? We're gonna speak. That's usually what brings zombies out. Oh god. You call out for any survivors in the hope someone may answer. You get no reply. You are now in a house that was clearly up, that was once clearly occupied, but now appears to be empty. Okay, so there's no one here. So let's search the cupboards. Search for food. Look for cookies. Ah, oh, right. Bet. You find nothing of interest in the house and leave. You now have no more items to research. You can either choose to continue your walk through the woods or head to the highway where you left your car. Highway is going to be more interesting, isn't it? Plot wise. Um head to the highway as you get closer you notice smoke above the trees the charred husks of the tree is still smolder significantly there's large burnt holes in oh because there was a fire in the trees good job i didn't go that way um find my car You get back into the car and notice the fuel gauge is on E. The last time you saw fuel was when you were looking for survivors at the house. God damn it. Uh, go back to the house to collect fuel. Oh, I didn't spell fuel right. Mm, you're now back at the house. Find fuel. We've got to go now. Please don't kill Brad. I will try. I did. He did die last time, but we weren't playing him then. You're able to find some old garden hose in the house, which you put in your bag and take to the car. As you fill up your tank, you notice smoke in the distance. Yeah, we've noticed smoke a lot, but I don't know what the smoke is for. Um, see where the smoke is coming from. The smoke is coming from a large dead tree that has been set alight. The fire is the size of a small house and has spread to two more trees nearby. Get the fuck outer dodge you can smell the fire and feel the heat you turn you back away from the car towards the safety of the trees um yeah the car's probably going to explode run into the forest see i'm already bored of this one so part of me wants to yell out for zombies to come and get me you run towards the trees with your bag over your shoulder. The car has like illuminating your path. You feel the heat on your face and take deep breaths of air to try and cool down. Um, crawl. I'm gonna yell. Let's yell. Um, is any one here? Well, the forest is literally on fire, so. But yeah, that's a good point. Someone could have been in the forest trying to get warm and then they end up burning it down. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, you are now in a large forest. Okay. <sighs> Come get me, zombies. I'm a whole snack. To be fair, it said post-apocalyptic world. It didn't say that there were zombies. You pull out your knife and start twirling it around in an act that resembles doing a jig. You can hear the distant sound of howling of the infected ahead. Oh boy, here we are. Climb a tree. One that isn't on fire, hopefully. You slowly walk deeper into the forest and shine your flashlight ahead in order to find any potential climbing options. You come across a couple of small trees about four or five meters off the ground and realize that could work. Um, say hi to a zombie. But then the zombies bite you and then you're a zombie, right? And then I get to be a zombie. 
come down. <laughs> you shout to the tree and start waving at the top. Come down, you say it's all right. You hear branch breaking. A small infected child landed in front of you. Oh no, it's an infected child. Give the infected child head pats. What a way to get turned. Oh no, it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's leaning in towards my hand. You gently pat the child on the head and say, there, there, it's all right. The child looks at you with its empty eyes and leans towards your hand. Let's see if it can talk. What's... I can't work with this keyboard. What's your name? You ask the child to create, looks up with these hollow eyes, its breath returns despite having no... <gasps> Does love bring them back? Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's be friends. You put your arm around the child and feel this cold skin is somewhat soft and they feel after a few moments you notice the infection spreading through its body and feel the urge to bite. Wait, what? It's feeling the urge to bite. You say, it's going to be okay, my dude. You silently wish the good luck and feel the cold of your knife on your tongue. You sneak up on the child and pr oh, I didn't want to kill the child! You were doing that for me! I didn't want to kill the child! Oh, no! I cry. You close your eyes and feel the cold metal slice across your face. Room too much. What? What? I feel the cold metal slide across your face and into the groove between the top of the child's skull and its scent. Am I like scalping this child? Scalp it and wear its hair as a wig. You start to scalp the child and feel thick hair being torn free from the cushion. Right. We're gonna wear the hair as a wig. Oh Brad. You place the hair into your bag. That's not what I wanted to do at all. And keep walking through the night. You suddenly walk along through the forest. No sound is fine. You suddenly you hear a branch breaking the hay. Turn around dramatically. To be fair, the kid was a zombie, so you slowly, you slow your breathing and hold your gun tightly in your hands. I didn't know I had a gun. Nothing is there. You keep walking past the broken tree and torch your bag of loot on a tree to mark your territory. That's, that's not, that makes no sense. Um, I want to start singing. Sing, start singing. What should we sing? Start singing. Careless whisper. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's not sad. Careless whisper. You yell, Alexa, play careless whisper. I don't know where I keep getting these random guns from. You start singing at the top of the lung. You haven't heard this song in years, but it comes natural to you now. Um, yes. Sing. Let it go. I hope I get snow powers now. You start singing loudly and run in circles. Still no signs of anything. Suddenly you hear the sound of infected. Okay, you drop your bag and start firing. I'm gonna run towards the zombies. I hope that this isn't like me actually controlling someone somewhere in an Azekai because that would make me feel really guilty. Jumping over logs and throwing yourself into the infective where you're inside their range. You manage to shoot three before the rest overwhelm you. Um. Brad became a zombie. But due to the power of God and anime on his side, he 
back you single handedly. He's just single handedly, is that right? Single handedly, one word. He high handedly, this doesn't get it. He cured <laughs> the zombies. all over the world <coughs> the AI doesn't know what to say <laughs> the AI. Um, Brad instead films his last moments to post to TikTok. What are you going to do to that AI? I don't think it knows what to do at all. Do I have to undo? Right, undo. There we go. Brad films himself with the zombies and posts it to TikTok. If this works, I'm going to be impressed. Um, I think I broke it. It doesn't seem to want to reply anymore. It says, do it for the TikTok. There we go, I fixed it. You found your last moments of your life watching videos on TikTok for <laughs> you devoured. That sounds about right, actually. That sounds, sounds about right. Um. <laughs> oh god, I think I think that's fine. Let's go to the next one. Wait. Did we just do zombies? Apocalyptic and zombies, they were the same one. Huh? Do you want me to do multiplayer one? Yeah, I'll do a multiplayer one. New multiplayer game. Pick the setting for your multiplayer game. We're going cyberpunk now. Generating the story. Character name. I'm going to call this one. Hmm. Steven. How do I do a link? Mm -hmm. Well, you've put it all on like a weird screen mode. There we go. No, there is no link. Hang on. Join adventure. Oh, it's like a... I don't know. It doesn't... Nowhere does it say how you join. Oh, I think it's a... Uh... I think it's a case if you have to be over here. No. Then you're gonna have to work out how to do it because I'm. That's why you couldn't stab Brad. He was a zombie. Oh, dude, that makes so much sense. Uh, game, uh, have a host. Uh, let, have the host click new multiplayer game from the home screen. Yeah. After setting up the game, click the menu, upper right hand and Okay, right, okay. Well, we're gonna call him Steven. Join adventure. Menu, invite friends, there we go. Right, let me send you this link. How, how do you want to take it? Uh, send yeah, I'm gonna do it over here though, because I don't want... I am with, bear with me guys, we're uh, I'm sending this link to the husband so he can um, he can he can mess with the story you know we have to take it in turns right mm -hmm. it's logged in as you so I'm gonna send it to myself and Maybe then you can send just, it to just me. it's too late yeah but that means I have to search for you I'm far too I've literally sent it to myself so you just need to click on your message settings to me can you put the link in the chat I don't want to make it go overwhelmed 
I don't want it to get completely spammed. So I'm going to leave it as it is for now because I feel like people will go overboard because I've done this kind of stuff before and I don't trust the general masses to make a cohesive story when working together. Um, I might do it just before I leave. Right, hundreds of thousands of cyborg slaves in, live in the futuristic city of Zale. They are forced to serve various mega corporations and are severely punished. You better keep it fucking PG. PG-13 at least. Um, and it's really punished if they disobey. They begin their work day salvaging met metals in a local junkyard. They look around and see other cyborgs in various states of dismemberment and disfigurement. One cyborg's left eye was replaced by a huge drill bit while the other body was replaced with machine guns. Okay, Stephen what? Stephen says. All right, Stephen. Um, what do we do to start? Right, okay. Um... I'm just going to do as I always do. I'm going to sort of look around. Because Brett's going to just carry this story anyway. I know he is. So there's no point. So this society we've created. Where does that leave you? A slave? A cyborg? You sit on a pile of rubble in an abandoned factory surrounded by hundreds of other forgotten people. Oh, Steve. Look for a friend. Have you joined anyway, Brett? You smell a girl! <laughs> a small crying girl says, I don't want to be a slave. She cries as the slave master presses a button on his metal arm. As the slave master's eyes flash green, he screams in pain from the electricity entering his body. What? Um. Well. Um. Brett! <laughs> small crying girl says, ouch. The slave master quickly grabs the girl by her and shoves her to the- Shut up, bro! Bruh! <laughs> Stephen, bruh! Wait, bruh, get your hand up! Wait, no, I, I need to do it as a... Uh, actually says bruh. 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 Small crying girl says, Yeah, you heard me correctly. <laughs> Let's go. What in dear heavens? You pull out your bat and shield and several slave master arrive. As you try to get away, the slave masters latch onto your back and begin dragging you around by your sword. Well, that just seems really inefficient. Little girl says, stranger danger. And you turn around to see the slave master holding the sword. <laughs> I dag that I should have known I brought a flamer. What? I should have brought a flamer. What the hell's a flamer? Um swings swing sword to save Oh yeah, cut the girl's hair. Cut the girl's hair with sword, even though it said bat originally. Sword to Free her. It's kinda, you pull out your sword and slice through the girl's hair, freeing her. Go, run, child, run, the slave master said. Why is the slave master telling her to run? Stephen says. Not even gonna let me. That's just a bad way to run a business. Pulling a soccer, I see. What do you mean? Oh, like cutting your hair short. Yeah, that's fair. The slave master hits you with a fist as you let out a yell. That's not... That's how I like my orders carried out, he says. As several cyborg guards arrive to hold you down. Um, Stephen and the little girl are humans and the slave masters are the robots. Um, Stephen says, Kinky. Kinky, the same I said. We'll see about Kinky. He says as he walks behind you slowly with a smirk on his face. Oh my god. Small girl cries and starts doing for her as the slave master slowly walks up to your face as you prepare for him. Oh no, he's gonna <laughs> This is not PG 13. I'm gonna be like assaulted 
by a cyborg. She says, I've seen bigger. Come at me, bro. Come at me. I've seen smaller <laughs> and I've seen dumber. Long day at the office. Dude, wanna talk about it? Wait, where did you go? Small girl runs out of flash grenade and runs away with Stephen. You pull out your pistol and shoot the slave master in the head. Long day at the office, you reply. You look around the room as various slave masters arrive, was it? I worked an entire week building that machine, one says. I'm so... <laughs> Where do I get my wigs for cosplay? It depends entirely on which wig, because I get them from all over the place. But small girl, burn the build- I look away for five seconds and you go and burn the building down. Um, hell yeah, you say. You light the cigarette up and take a long drag. The voices tell me to burn <laughs> The voices tell you to burn things. You repeat back to the little girl. Do it, she says. All right, all right. Stephen says, I hear you. Even real. I think, I think the small girl is a hallucination. The voices are very real. The slave, ma the slave master. Oh, he shot you. Can you stop talking and start fighting already? Without the voices, I'd probably be psychotic. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. You stand there in the middle of the room, shielding the small girl from the gunfire. What are you waiting for? Burn the building down, she says eagerly. What is, what is this? You interrupted me being sexually assaulted by a cyborg. Oh my God. Um. Steven Good. explodes. Oh no. Where did you get your Hawks wig and my Dabby wig? Um, Hawks wig, you can check out the information before I got my Hawks wig on my YouTube channel. There is multiple videos on there. Dabby is from Coscraft. Um, so that's more for boys. The fire spread through the building very quickly and soon enough it's in flames. You watch as all the slaves begin to run away excitedly. Let's go, you shout, running towards the exit. Steven slaps. The little girl in the face for starting fires. But marshmallows! You hear the girl's stomach growling. She begins to look around for a place to have breakfast. She starts the little girl with a chuckle. You put your hand on the little girl's head and gently rub her cheek with her fingers. Whoa! Oh, so I said that and it was you that hit me. That's not fair. Ah, oh. No hitting you say. Let's go get pancakes. Who says, let, ah, uh, won't you type? Let's go eat pancakes. I don't like this one. I find cyborg things really boring. You follow her. I don't need to hit you every day, she said true, but it's fun. The little girl punches the tiny dick. <laughs> Sexual assault. I can't spell it. I, it looks weird in capitals. Help, Stephen says. <laughs> you quickly let go of the girl. What you asked? She punched me, the girl says. You punched me, you little shit. <laughs> Listen here. Listen here, you. The little girl with a frown on her face grabs your hand. Come on, I'll show you how to use the knife. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Right off. Um, I letting oh, why would this do? you near a knife? Oh my god! Little girl with tears in her eyes. I didn't hit you, sir. You're such a good girl. You say, patting her head. No, she's not. <sighs> The little girl is being controlled by my husband, by the way, guys. 
throw her in the fire again. Oh no! Oh no, it's just with the girl gone. Haha, <laughs> she laughed as her body is absorbed by the fire. With the girl gone, you quickly hover over to the edge of the fire. Uh. Let's see what happens if I get Steven to- What the hell is that? A voice screams at you. Quickly turn around to see a security guard holding a taser. Um. Um. Throw the <laughs> security guard in the fire. A small girl becomes a phoenix for made out of fire, uh, flying into the security guard's eye. Oh my god, the fire quickly spreads through the, his face before his skin begins to burn like a pain screen. Steven. It's least that he could take that Was n <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Stephen leaves the area whish whist whistling nonchalantly. The guard's neck snaps, his body slumps to the floor. You quickly grab the guard's pass before heading ca ca to the cafeteria. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, pancakes then. You quickly grab the pass, opening the gate with the other guards leaving school. The morning is cool with a few stars still visible in the night sky. Let's go to McDonald's. The small girl enters Stephen's ass to merge with him and give him Phoenix powers. That is disgusting. That's a little girl. Let's go to McDonald's. You say... you Did, did you control the McDonald's bit? She's... I've said... I said let's go to McDonald's. Falling... Falling into a step beside the girl. I want to make flurry, she replies. You look at her raising I thought you were in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Stop, Stop it. Um, I can't think. You've thrown me. I'm ending this one. I can't. I can't. It's too. No. No, I can't. <laughs> 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 No. I've I've done them all now anyway. And this is another one. Oh, there's a battle. Let's try a battle. Do you want to do a battle, dear? Sure. Hmm. What to name you my character? No, I've gone battle. Yeah, you said you were in the lobby. Yeah, I started at the top and worked my way down. Oh, you want to do fantasy? Yeah. I want to murder all the elves before you. No, we're not doing <laughs> fantasy. You're not murdering the elves. Elves are... Bitches. Amazing. You are not slaughtering the elves. <coughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm sending you the link. Yeah. That's not right. Where is it? Did I close the page down? God damn it. On my I'm going on your Facebook, but I closed the page down. And I can't go on it on the one that everyone's seeing because then they'll see personal information. My Facebook page. Yeah, with your surname. That you blast everywhere anyway. Well, they'll also see what your nickname for me is <laughs> can you do battle into the usj attack i can't control it like that it's not really how it happens um the battle is about to begin with the tag team smack crew of the century the ring shakes with the way of these massive wrestlers the crowd goes wild the challengers must defeat their rivals to gain the title of the game is afoot A 
pan to the crowd shows everyone the elves fans are on your side in full force they have been good sports all day, but now it's time to see their hero in action. You named him Hawks! <laughs> Is that because I can't fight him? Let's go, Data Tech, let's go! <laughs> you mixed up the wrong fat! This is. Oh my god. Oh my god. The crowd goes wild as Elf Lover appears in the ring. The fans. Oh my god. <sighs> Why would you name him? Why is it Hawks? Uh, nice receive, one touch. The crowd goes wild as Data Tech returns fire and Elf Lover hits to the... Wait, you're in the crowd? So I'm fighting data tech. Yeah. What the fuck? Right, I take it back. <laughs> Fight me, you coward. Hawks is cheering me on. He's cheering on the enemy. The elf lover rises to his feet and draws a knife. The crowd goes wild. Is it's meant to be wrestling for heavyweight champ. I'm cheating with a knife. As you both do battle in the ring to fight till the death. Um, swing my blade. Hawk says rolling thunder. Elf lover manages to roll out of the way as you tackle him, but his foot slips on the edge of the ring and he falls to the ground. Swing my blade like a madman. How is Hawks in the crowd with his wings? Probably, um, he probably keeps his feathers in a bag. Um, elf lover 69 swing, elf lover 69's blaze like a mad man. The elf lover tries to prepare himself to receive a punch, but you do something unexpected. You run up to him and give him a roundhouse kick in the face. Hawks says, restrain elf lover with lacy rope. You run up to the ring apron and pull out a long red ribbon. You tie one side of the ribbon around a nearby corner post and the other around his wrist. Have I tied you to the ring? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself. You put him in there. Ah! All right, I'll still take that. I'll, I'll, t I'll take being spat on by Hawks. You flip the elf lover over and cover him with your body to prevent him from freeing himself. The fans go wild. Of course they're going wild because we're just like doing kinky shit on the- you- Brett, we cannot sex through this. Stop sexting with me! Grab the elf lover's arm, pull him up, the knife slips out of his hand and falls to the ground. You wrap one hand of the ribbon on his back and- around. I can't. What is going on? Smack the elf lover in the ass. You get elf lover a hard smack on the butt with the ribbon. The fans go wild and your team rushes into the ring silver. Wait, did I win? <laughs> I got, oh my god. I won? <laughs> Question mark. Yes, you say with glee. The fans begin to chant. The new champion is the elves. Fuck yeah. Hawk says, this is bullshit. Where are the judges? The fan cheers as the elf lover puts his hands in the air and surrender. You make your way back to the fan shake your name. Here you say as you pull out your phone and begin to search for who to blame. Um, elf lover says, oh, Hawk says, okay, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> You make your way to the back as you get a call. The call is from the owner. She is angry and wants an explanation for what happened. Um, I plead the fifth. Think your husband is trying to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, I would too, you say. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm gonna have to go in a minute. These headphones are hurting my ears. All right.
Fox goes to McDonald's, eats 100 chicken nuggets. You make your way back as the owner calls your bluff and says, if you don't tell what really happened, she's going to contact the papers. Do it, pussy. You won't. <laughs> Hook says, who reads the papers? You make your way to the back and get a call. Hello, you pick up, hey baby, a voice says on the other end. You say nothing and the fans begin to boo and then look at you in disgust. He's scared. He is scared of losing his chance to be on TV. Is that me or you? Do you have a hey baby or do I have a hey baby? Um, the live has been on for an hour and a half because I started at seven. Who watches TV? Watch Netflix scrubs. You make your way to the back and get a call. Hello, you pick up. Hey, baby, a voice. Okay, this person's really persistent. What up, bruh? You say nothing. The fans begin to boo and you look at them in disgust. He's scared. He's scared. Right, I think we've broken it. Hey, baby, what? You we've broken it! Bruh! You... <laughs> <laughs> You say nothing. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> you bro <laughs> We've broken. I might have. I can't take it anymore. Hello, you pick up. Hang up. No. <laughs> Stop calling me. <laughs> Hawks murders all the fans. Fans begin to chant, and the new champion is Hards. <laughs> He's a money-hugging, lying fake, you think to yourself. I can't even. I don't even know where that... I'm so confused. I'm... What is... I need to make another batch of brownies. I didn't get to eat enough of them last time because I shared them. What are we doing for tea? What will you do next? The announcer asks... I don't know, you say and look around. Suddenly a big ball drops out of the sky and smashes into the ring. Okay, chat, you need to look at the thing above it. Hawk smacks the... Bat! <laughs> I quit. I quit. The ball is open, revealing a little robot. This is Megatron. Hawks throws the ball, Pikachu. I, I can't. Nicknames him Meg. Good catch. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, that was AI Dungeon, and um, yeah, if you want to check it out, just literally Google search AI Dungeon, and it's literally the first thing. It's like boom and then you're there and that's how you do it i imagine if you make an account you can save your progress if you care that much i don't know who would take this kind of game seriously but there you go I caught a megatron. you caught a megatron i'm very proud of you and you called it meg <laughs> shut up meg robots in, disguise. robots in disguise have a good dinner bro thank you i had a very late lunch so i'm probably just gonna um have rice pudding and chocolate buttons. Mm. Right. Don't forget to drink lots of water and uh, keep it PG-30, <laughs> I guess. Bye, everybody. What's his nickname for you? I'm curious.